So I'm laying in bed one night, browsing boats that are up for auction, and I come across this one. It's a 2004 hull with a 2021 150 Suzuki on it. These are all the pictures I got. Sight unseen, I placed a bid. I placed a bid on many other boats, none of them stuck. I think I lowballed them too much. This one I was really interested in. Figured if somebody would put a nice new motor on a 2004 hull, it was probably worth it. Also notice that the motor didn't look like it was submerged up to the power head. Only the lower portion. So I had high hopes. Let's see what I got. I don't know. We'll see. In other terms. Um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened. And uh, yeah, so this is my Catalina 22 trailer. It used to be like a Hunter or something trailer. It was a Catalina 22 trailer for me. I adjusted it. Did some work on it. Replaced the bearings. Put some springs on it. All this weird stuff. Took that front hitch off. Built things to help step mass put that roller thing on there with stainless steel unistrut sketch stuff tore up the glass and i broke it in but anyway this is going to be my key west 196 bay reef trailer now um, or it's going to be dual function so i'm going to take that plywood over there and make a trailer we'll see how it goes i just wanted to get that out before the sun goes down because i just love to build random things and i got really interested in this concept of an overlanding truck I wanted to add a couple things to my F-150. I was going to drive down there uh, after work one day, and I figured what a great time to give a first try at sleeping on top of my truck. So I had to throw this thing on first before I left. That's a rig and the uh, airport grade carpet. Version that on top of the roof. Not too bad. Wish I had a little more time. The sun's here. And uh, got work to do today. I'm leaving my first boondocking campsite. Somewhere, some item, some some island somewhere. Something like that. I have no idea how I found this place and how I stayed there all night long and nobody showed up till this morning and nobody said anything. And it's four minutes from uh, where I am uh, supposed to be this morning in uh, three minutes. So I guess I'll be a minute late. It's an exciting day. I uh, been putting all this together for a while. I can't believe that I'm going to pick up a boat that I won at an auction that I won at auction without seeing. I was put on auction because it was damaged in a hurricane. So I'm over here somewhere in Southwest Florida and uh, there was definitely some houses and some stuff I saw driving in last night in the dark that were some signs of serious hurricane damage. And I would drive to the boat yard where all those hurricanes, all those uh, hurricane damaged boats are collected and auctioned and go get mine, put on my trailer, see what happens. So they send you to the marina, you gotta go to the ship store, which was pretty destroyed. A couple boats here that they've been put up and uh, then you head over to the actual yard where there are a lot of boats. At least in February when I was there, there were a lot of boats still. You'd see them tearing boats up, uh, just crushing them, scrapping pieces out of it, putting them in dumpsters. And, uh, and I'd hang out for a minute. I didn't know where my boat was, but a crane had to show up once he got there. You follow them through the yard and, uh, and they set you up and you get to get your boat on your trailer. Train man said swing in right here. Finally got eyes on the boat. So by the time you get here, you've already paid for the boat. You've already paid for the crane pick. And you don't really have much time to walk around. There's no decisions to make. This boat is yours. Paperwork's done. So first time I get to see it, I didn't have much time because they were ready to rig it, pick it, and get on to the next one. So first walk around, didn't look too bad on the outside. Fat 
scheiß Hosen war. Yeah, I probably have to come forward some. Come forward. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I got the big ass pad right here if it's underneath the keel. Yeah, you bring it up to where just about the bow is close enough to touching this thing. There we go, get the water out. <laughs> All right, not too bad. I, I got some jacks and cribbing. I, I built those bunks on there, you know, day before I came here, so it's out somehow. Yeah, well, these, these ones are it's a, it's up on that rubber pad. So oh, yeah. Like the bottom. Oh, I see you. And there we are, my rig ready to go. I uh, probably could have stayed here all day, but it was time to say goodbye to the boat yard and drive back across the state all the way to the east coast. I uh, definitely decided to take a few back roads on the way. My trailer did not have any tongue weight. So it was a little sketchy, but we made it. A little lost, I think. Somehow we made it back to the compound, whatever I call this place. It's been quite a journey, you know, not much camping down here, but camping up top is pretty great. And uh, for the for the boat, the trailer, the uh, home home transfer trailer from sailboat trailer to the boat trailer, I'd give uh, you know the build like an eight out of ten. The handling like a five out of ten. A little scary. Don't take over sixty miles an hour. A little too much weight in the back, I think, especially that one fifty back there. And uh, yeah, uh, definitely need something right there, bro. But anyway, let's uh, let's see what we got. A couple gouges. Oh, a lot of oysters. I mean barnacles. It's been a long day of driving. So you definitely see it was submerged on this side. I noticed when the speakers are stolen, they left that one. Maybe because this side was underwater. But there's not much growth over the side of the boat. So I think it was really partially submerged on this side. I barely saw inside the motor, but it seems like there's no uh, barnacles on the cover. So it was like tilted and submerged just up to the cover. Definitely still leaking water. There's a lot of softy wet shit in there. It's filthy. And it's a transducer. A salvage boat. Thanks, Geico. Really not too scratched up. I mean, 2004 hole. It's all right. You know, that's where they just freaking drug it around with the crane was crazy. It it moved up when I was trailer. I tried to get get it up further, and it it slides. Um, I was surprised that old winch works, but it's a uh, it's quite a quite a ride. I've got a motor motor guide, An anchor locker with some kind of anchor. Uh, some trees for my yard. Let's see what we got. And here is, ooh, nasty. Wow. So definitely <laughs> went through some trees or something. Got some free tackle. Tackle box. I don't know the keys are in here. That would be sick, but I doubt it. Ooh, some mix. Ooh, whatever. Marine browning lotion. Oh, baby. See, I knew there would be some chicks out on this boat. Some woods. Aluminum. Does this shit even go to this boat? This shit could have flew off different boats. I mean, you, know, you can see a water line in there. It's not totally full. Jeez. Pretty nasty. Right here. A live well. Okay, right over here. Oh, access for tackle slots. Oh, that tackle was stolen. Oh, no cooler. Oh, those are sun beaten. Yeah, yeah, that's 
Alright. Saw a crack on something. Speaker's gone. Got my one speaker. It's probably submerged. See the batteries in there. Let's see what else we got in the holes. Oh yeah. Nasty. Out here is pretty nasty looking. Um, definitely sat with some nasty water for a while. And uh, yeah, it's a good storage spot. No door anymore. Did you wash up into some trees or something? That thing. Oh, it's maybe I've been good. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's missing something. This is a wild one right here. What happened with these batteries when they got submerged? The switch is in the off position, so I was thinking maybe that didn't fry everything, but look at that. That happened to one of my batteries one time. Those uh, definitely were submerged. Uh, yeah, and uh, fried right off. So these batteries probably shot. Probably totally, completely shot. I mean, try to charge them, see what happens. That's but probably, yeah, probably shot. And uh, radio stolen. Speakers stolen. Oh, this is a nice stress crack right there, but I don't know that happened, but it seems pretty stable. Didn't fall off while I was trailing. And uh, lastly, in here, I did notice some kind of water line in here. Like, the water definitely came in. These terminals aren't like fried, so these batteries, you know, I'm gonna try to charge them. We'll see what happens. There's a charger down there, some sunscreen. Oh, it was on a lift. That's what lost at the cave. This is a low key. No, damn it. That's for the lift at their house, whoever's house was on. It definitely washed off a lift, it's most likely. Oh. Yeah. It's, uh, this got wet too. <laughs> and uh, someone stole the GPS. Still got this JL audio head unit. I don't know, hopefully that's everything. Audio input is probably broken. It's got the Suzuki computer, no Suzuki key, some broken switches, the steering doesn't work. And, uh, yeah, check out the, uh, the new, uh, the new boat. I'll probably go get the motor open here and just, uh, get a walk around there in a second. Broken windshield a little bit on one side. I don't know what that is, but lots of rocket launchers. Let's see how my, uh, my head clearance is. Those guys out here, amazing. When you step up, you definitely gotta step out. But sick, uh, sick kind of some points going on here. Dude. Overall, pretty excited. Yeah, got the motor cap off. I guess uh, Bob and Annie's boatyard. I think I drove past them actually, so maybe I can give them a ring. Maybe they got the keys. Maybe the boat floated away from their yard. Um, or maybe that's where the motor came from. But, dude, it is not bad. Four cylinders. Four plugs. You can definitely see the tarnish and the rust coming in. Tarnish on the starter. We'll see. I don't know if uh, anybody tried to arc it or start it. But uh, but yeah, I mean, debris in there, but not bad. It's all like low. And so if this is the lowest cylinder, I mean, the oil pan. I pulled the oil. Like, let me show you the oil. Like, you can see leaves and junk in there. It must be just like low. I flipped that switch and this thing just fell. I picked it up and just lo lowered her down. Bitch is heavy. Um, let's do. Look at this oil. That shit is clean, man. You see some water in there. So whatever water got in would have just drained out. The cover must have been dislodged just like a little bit to get that dirt in here. And if the cover would have stayed on, it'd probably be clean. And I'd yank those batteries out. Put the wires off, but uh, but yeah, I have no idea how many power. I uh, realized I could probably do the motor manually when I saw this, and it says uh, close and open like a car jack. So maybe to get if this <laughs> until it doesn't work, I'll probably have to close that. But yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. We're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna pull some plugs, see what it looks like. Oh, what's in there? or something I don't know what that is oh that's where you put the oil in obviously yeah makes sense yeah it did so uh, pretty damn clean looking motor I would uh, guesstimate 
a hundred hours, man. Let me see if I can get these uh, plugs off. Spark plug uh, covers off. And uh, the lowest one definitely has the most amount of uh, cook in it, but not that bad. I was uh, I turned the second plug a little bit, but I decided I'm gonna get some brake cleaner and spray these little cavities out first with the cleaner to uh, just to clean out that shit in case you know whatever. You know, it's the entrance to the motor. See what it looks like inside the cylinder. I have no idea how I'm gonna see the cylinder. Look at the plug. Spray something in the cylinder. Hope for the best. Try to crank it. You know after it soaks for a little bit. Well, I got the plugs. It's the bottom one, the middle one, next one, and the top one. The bottom one wasn't the worst. It was the second one that is uh, pretty rusty. So maybe that one was exhaust and exhaust valve was open. And water got in the exhaust. But uh, yeah, I can't see inside there. I'm gonna get a high powered light. I'll look around. See, looks like spray some shit in there and let her sit. But plugs are on the list. Finally found some water lines in the motor. Let's see, it was there for a little bit, but looks like it was there and then went went away. I'm hopefully, you know, thinking that was when it was washed up or wherever. A little bit on this computer stuff, but hopefully isn't too bad. But uh, but yeah, I uh, put the plugs back in, put the caps on. I'm gonna hit it with some lubricant and then. When I pressure wash the rest of the boat, I'm going to squirt down around the base of the motor and get the, get the soot out of there with the pressure washer with the light. <laughs> Hopefully the light around and then I'll WD-40 the shit out of everything again. Okay, I'm going to try to lube her up. So I did. I sprayed, sprayed this inside the cylinders. Try to spray it inside of the uh, air intake, which is whoop, right there. Yeah, if I can figure it out. I believe... How hard it is to get this out of here? I don't even want to know. Uh, I could spend this last minute watching me struggle to get this battery out of this compartment because uh, the leaning post is right here and I'm a big guy, it's, it's not easy. Um, so definitely some signs of, of the struggles I'll be going through for, for this boat because it, it, it rode out a category five hurricane, you know, or category four borderline category five hurricane and uh, it definitely needs some work and I got a long way to go. Um, am I in over my head? Probably. So uh, stay tuned and uh, subscribe. Check out the next videos. See, see if I can get this thing running. See if I can get this thing floating. If you uh, are interested in my truck, the stuff I did to that recently, you know, subscribe. I'll probably have some videos about it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See where the adventure takes me.